Hi friends, welcome to room nine, our region's largest classroom. My name is Mrs. Hewson. You can see it right there behind me. And I am here to teach you social studies for second grade. But of course, all learners are welcome to stick around and learn with me today. So last week, if you joined me, you would have learned about laws and rules and how they are different. So this week, we are going to continue learning about rules and laws, and we are going to decide what a rule is and what a law is, and we are going to actually make a list of the two different rules and laws. And then we're going to play a really fun game. So I hope that you stick around with me the whole time. Okay, so to get started with our lesson today, I want to review the book that we read last week. So I probably won't read the whole book this week, um, but I want to share some information that we talked about from this book last week, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. So the book we read was, Why Do We Need Rules and Laws? And this book uh, was written by Jessica Pegas and Crabtree Publishing is allowing us to read this. So pretty awesome, right? So really quickly, we're just going to dive in and talk a little bit about what are rules and what are laws. And then we're going to make some decisions on some rules that we should list and some laws that we should list, right? So what are rules? Do your homework before you go outside to play. Treat others as you would like to be treated. These may be rules you have heard before. Rules are instructions that tell us the correct way to behave. They help us know what is expected of us. We follow rules at home, at school, and in our community. So for example, brushing your teeth is a good rule. Where would you follow that rule? At home, at school, or in your community? Exactly, that's a rule for at home. A community is a place where people live, work, and play. People who belong to a community are called citizens. It is important for citizens to follow all the rules at home, at school, and in the community. Following the rules keeps us healthy and safe. Following the rules even makes things more fun. When everyone knows the rules to a game, it's much more fun to play. So why are rules important? Hmm. We just learned that if we know the rules and everyone follows the rules, we can be safe and have more fun. So let's see what the book tells us about following rules and why they are important. Rules are part of our everyday lives. There are rules wherever we go. Rules keep us safe. Rules help also help us get along and help us solve problems. Ava sees a group of kids teasing Sophie. Ava wants to help, but she is not sure how. Then she remembers the rule of standing up for others. Ava tells the kids that bullying is not allowed. Everyone has a responsibility to follow the rules. A responsibility is something a person should take care of or do. Following the rules keeps everyone happy and safe. There you go. That's why it's important to follow the rules so that everyone is happy and everyone is safe. So we're not going to read over all of this page, but just so you know, we have rules in lots of different places. One place that we have rules are in our classroom. And even though some of you might not be in your classroom right now, you might be learning virtually from your computer at home or an iPad or a Chromebook at home, there's still going to be rules in your classroom. So rules are really important because when a lot of people come together to do learning, we want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to learn and that everyone is healthy, happy, and safe, right? So rules in the classroom are important. Rules at school. So even when you go back to school or when you are in school, you might have rules outside of your classroom that are a little bit different. But rules at school are important also to keep everyone healthy, happy, and safe. There are rules in our community. 
Okay, so for example, last week we talked about this girl walking her dog on a leash, and this was to make sure that her dog doesn't run off, um, and also so that her neighbors feel safe in her community, okay? So it's important to have rules in your community. Now, there's also something called laws, and we know that laws are different than rules. They're similar, but they are still different. So let's read a little bit about what a law is and how we follow the law. So communities have rules that are called laws that everyone must follow. A law is a rule made by government. A government is a group of people who run a country, province, state, or community. Some laws are made to keep people safe, such as wearing your seatbelt in your car. How many of you wear your seatbelt when you go in the car? I know I do. Other laws are made to keep communities clean, such as where you are allowed to put your garbage. All laws are made to help a community by be a great place for everyone. So laws are important so that it keeps the whole community safe, okay? Police officers are part of the government. They work hard to keep everyone in a community safe. Police officers make sure people follow laws. People who break laws face consequences. A consequence is what happens because of something you have done. So I know last week we talked a little bit about that too. Um, sometimes there's good consequences and sometimes there's negative or not so good consequences. So if you break a law, do you think you will have a good consequence or a bad consequence? Right. If you break the law, there's going to be a bad consequence that comes with that, okay? So you make the choice and then you have a consequence. So for example, in this picture, this man was driving too fast. So that's called speeding, okay? The consequence is that he's re receiving a ticket and he will have to pay a fine, okay? So rules and laws must be fair. That's very important. Every citizen has rights. A right is something you are allowed to have or do. All rules and laws must protect a citizen's right. That means all rules and laws must be fair for everyone. Citizens have a responsibility to speak up if they feel a rule or law is not fair. Some citizens speak up by holding protests, okay? So in this picture, you can see these citizens are speaking up. They feel a new law to cut government spending on their school is not fair, okay? So rules and laws are different because rules are something that you have to follow at school, at home, and there might be a consequence from your teacher or your parent. But a law is a rule that is made for the whole community, okay? And if you break the law, there's going to be a bigger consequence. So let's think about that. If one of your rules at home is to brush your teeth, and you don't do that, your consequence could be a natural consequence, like you get a cavity and have to go to the dentist. Or maybe your consequence is a consequence that your parents give you, like you might be grounded for a day. Or maybe you don't get to eat candy if you can't take care of your teeth properly, okay? But if you break a law, so for example, like that man in the picture who was driving too fast, he was speeding, he broke the law. And so his consequence was larger than just breaking a rule police officer pulled him over and wrote him a ticket, which means that he will have to pay a fine. And if he continues to go too fast while he's driving, his consequence may get bigger, larger, okay? All right, so let's talk a little bit about what are some rules that we know and what are some laws that we know. So I have a few in my hand, some cards, and I'm going to read them to you and we have to decide where we should write them. We have to decide if it is a rule or if it is a law, okay? So my first one says, we stop at a red light. So when you're driving your car, do you stop when the light turns red? Is that a rule or is that a law? 
Well, if you broke that rule or law, what would happen? Hmm. I think that's a law because if you didn't stop at the stoplight, you could seriously hurt someone because you could cause an accident, right? Or yourself even could be hurt. And a police officer, if they saw that, they would pull you over and you probably would get a ticket, which tells me that that is a law. That is something that all citizens have to follow. We're going to write that over here under law. We stop at a red light. So that is a law. My next card says we cannot litter. So if you throw trash on the ground outside, you're walking down the street and you're eating a candy bar and you decide to throw the trash on the ground, that's called littering. Do we think that that is a rule or a law? No littering. Is that a rule or a law? Does everybody have to follow that rule? Yes, that means it's a law. So we would write no littering. So that is a law. If you got caught littering, you might also get a ticket, just like if you were speeding, okay? Now my next one says we cannot hit. So no hitting, no hitting. Is that a rule or a law? Now think carefully because at first when I thought about it, I thought, oh, that's a rule, right? Because if I hit someone at school or at home, I would get in trouble, right? But think bigger. If you hit someone when you were a grown up, would you get in trouble with a police officer? Yes, you would, okay? So that tells me that's a law, okay? No hitting is a law. You should never hit someone else. And that goes for everyone. No one should hit anyone, right? Okay, now our next one. We have lots of laws so far, okay? Our next one says we sit quietly on the carpet. We sit quietly on the carpet. Is that going to be a rule or a law? Right, very good. That is a rule. That is a rule that we have at school. When we go back to our schools, our teachers will say, sit quietly on the carpet, right? Sit quietly on the carpet. That is a rule that we have in our school. Okay, our next one says, we walk in the halls. We walk in the halls. Is that a rule or a law? What do you think? Right, that is another rule, okay? When we are at school, we walk in the halls so that we can be safe and so that our friends can be safe because if we're running, we could trip and fall and hurt ourselves, or we could bump into a friend. So we walk in the halls. That is a rule that we have at school. Now my next one says we do not talk in the hall. So let's say um, be quiet in the hall. Is that going to be a rule or a law? Okay, I agree. I think that is a rule. So. Be quiet in the hall. In the hall. Okay, very good. Okay, my next one says we cannot st steal. Sorry, we cannot steal. So do you know what stealing is? If you steal something, it means that you take something that is not yours. So no stealing. Do we think that's a rule or a law? No stealing. Right. Very good. That is a law. 
okay, a law. Because if you did steal, you could get in big trouble and the police officers would not, would not like that. So no stealing, that is a law, okay? You guys can't really see all of my list. Let's move you a little bit. Okay, let's see. Let's do just a couple more. I have three more, so a few more. My next one is we have to brush our teeth. We talked about that one already, right? So that is a rule that we have at our house, hopefully, right? And remember we talked about um, if we don't brush our teeth, there is still a consequence, and the consequence would be that maybe you get a cavity, or maybe you have to go to the dentist, or maybe your parents are upset with you, and they say no candy, or you might get grounded. Okay, so brush your teeth is a rule. Brush your teeth. Okay. Two more, I have two more here. So the next one says, we listen to the teacher. So listening to your teacher, is that going to be a rule or a law? Listening to your teacher. Very good, that is a rule, okay? So the consequence if you don't listen to your teacher might be that you lose a few minutes of your recess or maybe the teacher calls the principal or even your parents and then you could end up being in trouble at home too so listen to your teacher is a, an important rule listen to your teacher okay my last one says wear your seatbelt in the car. So we talked a little bit about that one already too, and we know that that is a law, okay? So wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. Move you down just a second so you can see me write it. So wear your seatbelt. That is a law. Because if you aren't wearing your seatbelt, then you're not being safe and a police officer would pull you over or could pull you over and they could write a ticket to whoever is driving the car because you weren't wearing a seatbelt, okay? So we talked a lot about how laws are things that the whole community has to follow, right? So I have some picture cards here and I want you guys to tell me if they are following the law or not following the law, okay? So we're gonna do a simple thumbs up, thumbs down. So just like last week, you remember my bunny friend Howard, he was either following the rules or breaking the rules. And if he followed the rules, we gave a thumbs up. And if he broke the rule, we gave a thumbs down. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about laws. These are laws um, of when you are driving, okay? So you guys are going to say thumbs up if the driver is following the law, and you're gonna give me a thumbs down if the driver is breaking the law, okay? Okay, so my first picture is a car, and if you look very closely, you can see that they're driving on the road and there's a stop sign. Does it look like they stopped at the stop sign or did they keep going? Did they keep driving? I'll give you a hint. If you look at their lights on the back, you can tell that they are not on. Those are called brake lights. So the brake lights not being on tells me that they didn't stop at that stop sign. So did they follow the law or did they break the law? Very good, they broke the law. They ran, they drove right through that stop sign. That is no good because then they're not being a safe driver. So they broke the law and if a police officer saw that, it would probably get pulled over and possibly get a ticket, okay? 
All right. My next picture is of a boy sitting in the back seat of a car in his car seat. And if you look very closely, he is wearing a seatbelt. Okay. And we already talked about how wearing a seatbelt is very important in the car. It is a law and it is to help keep you safe. So is this boy following the law or breaking the law? What do you think? Very good, he is following the law because he's being safe in the car by wearing his seatbelt. Okay, my next picture. And I, I bet that a lot of you have seen this happen before. Maybe even your parents have done this. And after we talk about it, if you see it happen, it would be absolutely okay for you to gently, kindly remind them that it's not a safe choice, okay? So look at my picture. This woman is driving her car while talking on her cell phone. Hmm. What do we think about that? We think she's following the law or is she breaking the law? Yeah, she's breaking the law. You should not talk on your cell phone while you are driving because you might not be paying attention to what's happening on the road around you if you're worried about the conversation you're having on the phone, okay? And if you absolutely have to answer the phone, you definitely should not be holding it to your ear while driving, okay? So she is not following the law, she's breaking it. So that would be a thumbs down. Okay, next we have a picture of a school bus driving down the road, okay? And if you look, they are driving on the right side of the road. What do you think about this? Are they following the law or breaking the law? Looks like they're following the law to me. They're driving carefully down the road. I'd say it looks pretty good to me. Thumbs up. Okay, two more pictures to go through. This one, if you look very closely, you can see that there is a car following very closely to that truck. They're not giving them very much space. And I'm gonna tell you something. If that truck had to stop very quickly, if they had to slam on their brakes, that car would not have very much time to stop and they could cause an accident. So what do you think? Are they following the law or breaking the law? Right, thumbs down. They are breaking the law. They are driving too close to that truck. There is actually a law that says that when you are driving, you're supposed to leave a certain amount of space between your car and the car in front of you, okay? That allows time to stop, to be safe, okay? Okay, our last picture is of a car driving really, really, really fast. You can tell because it, there's a lots of blurred lines around it. So that tells me they're driving really fast. And we know that when a car is driving really fast, they're speeding, okay? There are something, there's things called speed limits on every road. And that, it tells you how fast you should go. And this car looks like it's going too fast. So are they following the law or breaking the law? Very good, they are breaking the law, okay. You guys have it down. You know all about rules. You know all about laws. And you've even helped me come up with a list of rules and laws. And you've even played the game if they followed the rule or broke the rule or followed the law and broke the rule. So now, before we go, I want to play a really fun game with you. And maybe you've even played this game at school before. It's called Red Light, Green Light. Raise your hand if you've ever played Red Light, Green Light. Oh, I knew you probably had, but if you haven't, that's okay. I'm going to explain the rules to you now. So red light, green light. Think about when you're driving in the car or riding in the car, because you're probably not old enough to drive yet if you're a kid, right? But your parents or whoever's driving, they know the rules, they know the laws. And if the light is green, that tells them that they can go. But if it's red, that tells them they need to stop. So we are going to play 
a game of red light, green light. So while my light is green, you get to get up and walk around. Now you're probably inside your house. So do you think you should run around your house? No, because that would be speeding, right? And we know that speeding is breaking the law. So we don't want to break the law. So you're going to walk around your house. Don't go too far from your TV because you're going to want to know when it turns red. When the light turns red, what do you think you need to do? You need to stop. So freeze exactly where you are, okay? You know the rules now? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to play. Perfect, okay. So when my light's green, you're going to walk, you're gonna go, and when my light is red, you will stop. Are you ready? Green light. Red light. Do you remember to stop? Don't get a ticket. Green light. Red light. Green light. Keep going. The light's still green. Red light. Stay frozen. Green light. Red light. Perfect. You guys did such a great job playing my game of red light, green light today. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for playing. So just to wrap everything up and talk a little bit about what we learned before we go. Remember that a rule is something that you have to follow to help keep everyone around you safe. A law is something that everyone has to follow to keep everyone safe. And they have to be fair. Rules and laws have to be fair. Okay? And if you break a rule or a law, there might be a consequence. So it's up to you to make good choices and make sure you follow the rules and the laws everywhere you go. Okay, friends? I hope you have a great day and I hope you come back and join me again next week. Bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.